Welcome to T4G Sports. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some Auburn football and their recruiting. I'm telling you guys, watch out for Auburn. Watch out for Auburn. And I know if you're a Bama fan, you may be saying, what do you mean watch out for Auburn? The thing is with Auburn, their last year's class was the seventh ranked total class. And they really, really went after the state of Alabama. And they're doing better in the state of Alabama. And they're, they're continuing that grind. And now that Nick Saban's not there, it does, it, I, I think that it does make it tougher on, on Alabama. Because right now, it is the battle of the state. Okay, and I, I'm telling you guys, this is very, very, very important that you have to win the state. And this doesn't just stop at the state of Alabama. This stops at the state of Ohio. This stops at uh, Georgia. This stops in Florida, Texas. When you get to these schools that have a massive pipeline, you really want to shore up the state. Okay, because if you won the entire state of Alabama, you are going to be successful because that's how good that pipeline is. It's that simple. These guys are really, really good. I mean, just look at how many top 50 players they actually have in the state of Alabama. Just it, it's it's quite a bit. OK, quite a bit. And if you were to land a lot of these guys, you're you're going to do very, very well. And if you look, Auburn really, really did well. Nick Saban's a gangster. Nick Saban went and recruited outside of Alabama, even when Al Auburn was giving him some grief in the recruiting trail in his own state, because he could go anywhere he wants and recruit at a high level, and that's what he did. But if you expect that a lot of coaches are going to be able to do what Nick Saban does in the recruiting trail, you're sadly mistaken. You're sadly mistaken. That is just not the way it works for a lot of coaches, because he had to get a lot of guys to take pay cuts to come and play for him, just like Ohio State and Georgia did. Uh, they they just they had to take guys they had to have guys take pay cuts because you can't pay all of them it's not possible okay it is not possible so for me I think Auburn is a team that you really really need to watch out for um, I really really think you need to watch out for them because they were ranked twenty seventh uh, in 2024 if you look at 2023 they were 19th okay you look at 2018 and they were not dominating in the state of Alabama okay they were 12th in 2018. Which is, which is not terrible, it's not atrocious, um, not bad, but if you combine five years of doing what they've been doing, you are going to see that Auburn really struggled, okay, absolutely struggled to keep and to keep on the trajectory of dominating on the recruiting trail. So in 2017, they got 10th, which is not bad, but aside from that, you start looking at what they were struggling with and it started to get bad. Now you look at 2025, what are you seeing with Hugh Freeze? Okay, you're seeing that they are, for one, their NIL seems appears to be getting better. Two, uh, they are really going after the state, and they have a little bit of help with Nick Saban not being in-house anymore. Okay, that helps because right now, Alabama is just not quite the level of what they used to be on the recruiting trail. And Kalen DeBoer is going to have some serious struggles. Uh, moving forward, it's going to be hard for him. Now, can he persevere? Sure, it's Kalen DeBoer. Of course he can. He took Washington to a championship game. But if you're Auburn, you're in a good place right now because you're making a run. I mean, you are flat out going after some of these dudes. And right now, you already have the eighth best recruiting class. So let's look at the state of Alabama right now. You look at it. Ohio State comes in and picks one. Not not shocking there at all because Ohio State is one of the only schools along with Georgia who comes in and does it. So where is Alabama really fighting? Okay, yeah, you got Texas, LSU, Ole Miss, but you have Auburn, Alabama, Georgia, and Ohio State are the are the schools you really need to be worried about. Because Ohio State, if they come in and they poach the top guy in the in your state, that's not a good look because he's not even going to the SEC, he's going to the Big Ten. We'll see if he stays at Ohio State, but that that's that's a big statement right there to go to Ohio State. And Ohio State's getting a lot of buzz, okay? So Auburn's already landed two of the top four guys. They're looking at landing a third in the top five. Yeah, they're they're struggling there. Uh, Alabama's, you know, making a run there, and then Alabama, and then it's Auburn. They're kind of switching gears here, okay? So if you look moving forward, you're you're seeing an indication where you're going, Jesus, they're kind of switching here a little bit. This used to be Alabama, and then Auburn was down there, and that's not quite what you're seeing now. So I think that that's something you need to take note of and to recognize, and I think Auburn's one of those teams 
that you need to put on the map because I'm telling you in these last two years, and I'm talking this upcoming year as well that I've seen, I'm starting to see a shift with Auburn. Whether they fully commit to that and, and get, you know, to where Alabama was or anything like that, that's another story entirely, but it doesn't matter. You're seeing a shift. You're seeing a graph go, boop, it goes up. And then you're looking at it and go, what was that? It's Auburn. And so they're a team right now that all I'm saying to you guys is put them on your watch list. Okay, I'm not saying they're going to dominate this next year. I'm not saying they're going to dominate the next year after that. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is, is watch out for this team because they're a team that that is making vast improvements in a short period of time. And it happens to so be at the time that Nick Saban, it was the first year, the last year with Nick Saban, Nick Saban struggled with the state. And then this year, now that Nick Saban's gone, same thing's happening. So if Nick Saban was struggling, I'm a little concerned with Kalen DeBoer going, are you going to be struggling? So what I'm saying now, all I'm saying is just watch out for Auburn. They're a team that's on my watch list right now because they're making some improvements. Um, so that's that's where I have them right now. We'll keep you guys updated in the future. But Auburn is 100% making a run to secure the pipeline of Alabama. And if they do that, they will be successful uh, no doubt. Will they win championships? That's another story. I'm not going to get into that, but I'm saying they're putting themselves into a very great position. They're not going to be a team you're going to want to play. I can promise you that. So, um, team on my watch list, I'm impressed. And uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where the future's headed, but um, I'm definitely going to be watching Alabama or watching Auburn.